In this video, we're going to learn about indirect proof and look at one example of an indirect proof. So far in geometry, you've probably learned about two column proofs, which are a type of direct proof. You're going step by step, making logical conclusions until you reach what you're trying to prove. An indirect proof is different because it is indirect. And it relies on this principle here. If a statement cannot not be true, then it must be true. So think about what that means. If you can show that something cannot not be true, that means it must actually be true. So when you do an indirect proof, what you always do to start is assume the opposite of what you want to show is true. So if you're trying to show that two sides are congruent, you would start by assuming that those two sides are not congruent. And then what you're going to do is make logical conclusions, just like you would in a normal proof, so keep going with different steps, until you reach a contradiction. And a contradiction is when you reach a place where it doesn't make sense anymore. A contradiction is two things that couldn't possibly happen at the same time. And once you reach that contradiction, what you've really shown is that the statement cannot not be true, so therefore it must be true. Now, I know it's hard to really understand what that means without seeing an example, so let's look at an example together. For this example, we're going to say, if two angles, A and B, are supplementary, then angle A is less than or equal to 180 degrees. So with an indirect proof, we start by assuming the opposite. So that means we're going to assume the opposite of this right here. We're going to assume the opposite of angle A is less than or equal to 180 degrees. So the opposite of being less than or equal to is being greater than. So assume angle A is greater than 180 degrees. Now, if angle A is greater than 180 degrees and angles A plus B are supplementary, it means that angle B must be negative because in order to add up to 180 degrees, if angle A is already bigger than 180 degrees, angle B must be negative. So our next conclusion is, therefore, angle B must be negative in order for angles A and B to add to 180 degrees. So in other words, in order for those two angles to be supplementary, if angle A is already greater than 180 degrees, angle B must be negative. Now there's where you get to a contradiction. This thing I just said, angle B must be negative. That doesn't make sense. How can you have an angle that's negative? So that's where you have your contradiction in your reasoning. And once you reach the contradiction, you can say that your original assumption, therefore, must be false. So it must not be true that angle A is greater than 180 degrees. So therefore, angle A must be less than or equal to 180 degrees. Okay? So the idea is we assumed it wasn't, showed that, well, if it wasn't, things basically don't make sense. Therefore, it must be what we were originally trying to say it was.